And the 1970s and 80s, Jennifer Binney was an art student on the cusp of fame as a young British artist. With her boyfriend and fellow art collaborator, Grayson Perry, she painted, performed and made films from a squat in London. Well, as the years went by, Jennifer stepped out of the limelight to focus on bringing up a family in Sussex. But now, a new exhibition of her latest paintings is about to go on show in Robertsbridge. She's been speaking to Robin Gibson about her life and art and working in a Sussex village hall. It's a film made by Jenny Binney in the 1980s. At the time, she was living in a Mornington Crescent squat with boyfriend Grayson Perry. He would go on to win a Turner Prize. With her sister Christine, the three experimented in their own fantasy world. I be a mirror. There was painting, performance, and filmmaking. I be Heady days. We'd both just left art college, and then we got to live in the squat. And there were lots of people around who were already quite famous, like Boy George and Marilyn, and people and various filmmakers, Derek Jarman and Andrew Logan and all those sorts of people. And they all kind of became, you know, people we were so we associated with. And I think we were quite inspired by all those people in a way. Fame didn't come for her, but art has been in her life ever since. This is her home at Jevington Village Hall near Eastbourne. She's actually the caretaker here. This is a very old painting done um, in the London days. Around her artwork of the last 30 years, you could be forgiven for thinking that if anything stands still here for long enough, it will be painted. But family has been more important than art. Most of the time I've lived here and was raising my son and being a wife hmm. and all, you know, getting embroiled in domesticity. It's very, very hard to hold that all together and focus on your career, whatever it is. A new exhibition at the Black Shed Gallery in Robertsbridge is something of a new beginning. It draws heavily from nature, a world of illusions, forests and animals with human characteristics. Her work's been shown in the ICA, um, she's shown in, in Munich and, and in Tokyo. So to, I wouldn't underestimate where she is now. I've made this now my business, to be an artist. It's what I've always done. And it does feel as though things are now starting to happen, but purely because it's the focus of my life. Her creativity remains as strong as in those student times. And her story, from the days when British art and artists began taking on fame and celebrity, is captivating. Robin Gibson, BBC South East Today, Jevington. Yeah, some wonderful art seeing the light of day there.